Hi, in this video, I'll talk about Brownian motion. In the year 1827, Robert Brown took a tank of water, kept it stationary and in equilibrium, and he put some pollen grains in it. The expectation was that the pollen grains suspended inside the water will also be stationary, but that was not the case. The pollen grains started moving in random fashion when observed through a powerful microscope. That was a great finding because the pollen grains can move only if there is something that's moving them. So let's take a tank of water as shown here. Uh, water is filled up to a particular height and the brown uh, spheres uh, represent the pollen grains. They are slightly exaggerated to make it easy to see. Now you can see that immediately the pollen grains have started moving uh, although the water is stationary. And uh, this movement of pollen grains is not just for 5 or 10 minutes. It can happen throughout the day or for days on end. And that means that there must be some energy inside the water. And that energy is the energy of the molecules inside the water. So that was the explanation that liquids have molecules, the molecules have kinetic energy, and uh, momentum transfer is taking place between the molecules and the pollen. And that's why the pollen is moving around uh, seemingly forever. When this was extended to gases, it proved the kinetic theory of gases because the kinetic theory of gases also said that gases have molecules, molecules are moving around in random and the kinetic energy of the molecules of a gas is responsible for the gas behavior such as temperature, pressure and volume. In this way, the Brownian motion uh, experiment was uh, extremely important and significant not just for liquids but also for the kinetic theory of gases. This was a deduction because uh, Brown uh, did not actually see the molecules, he could not with the microscope. I hope this uh, animation and video was useful to you. Thanks and have a great day.